I'm very excited today because I get to unbox a brand new, and of course it's brand new if I'm unboxing it, unlike my watch, the other video before, the iPhone 10R. I got the red to support a good cause, and let's go ahead and unbox it. Unfortunately, the guy at the, the phone provider had to open it and had to make sure it worked. So this is what you get. I have a crazy setup here. I, I kind of wanted to compare Apple to Android a little bit, but I think I'll do that in my next video. I'm going to review this phone in a few days. But I can't show you my phones because I'm actually videotaping this taping taking this video or shooting this video with an iPhone 7 Plus and also from this angle with my Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus and so if I take my iPhone S6 and turn on the camera I can show you the crazy setup here so I've got my makeshift phone holder right there for the S8 Plus and then I actually have a stand for my wife's iPhone 7 Plus and uh, it's a really good stand actually this is not an official review but I'm happy with it I got it on Amazon for 150 bucks or 125 it would be less in American dollars and probably less in pounds too if you're in the UK. But I'm really satisfied with the stand and the phone holder and the ring lights. If you want to pick one up, just go to the link below and check it out. I've only used it for probably three or four videos, but I'm really happy with it. It provides good lighting and Before I had this, the videos were not good at all. So I'm very excited about this phone. It's my first new iPhone since my S6 Plus. And that was short-lived because I bought a OnePlus 3T Midnight Edition a few months after it came out. At the time, I did not know that OnePlus comes out with a new phone every six months. So I was kind of disappointed. Look at that red. That is a really nice red. Uh, I keep looking at the screen because I'm going to show you guys here with my Samsung S8. That's a beautiful color. I don't know if, if you're picking this up on the iPhone 7. Uh, to compare for size, that's the 6S and that's the 10R. So I'll put it there. I'm doing this late at night because of the four little girls upstairs sleeping. And we did have some friends over. So, but I can't wait. I want to do this tonight because I want to start using this. And Here's the favorite part, or my favorite part anyway, is taking off this plastic. <laughs> so satisfying. Okay, I'm kind of mesmerized by this red. It is beautiful. It's just stunning. And the camera does not do it justice. I can tell you that. I heard other YouTubers say it but that is just a good looking phone. And I'm sure you've watched other reviews of the 10R. Uh, you probably heard that the screen is um, a little bit better than 720p, eight something, but it looks really good. That's my first impression of the screen. And the bezels are about the same as the 6S, if not a little bit wider on the sides. But obviously there's no chin and um, no forehead, just that notch. 
So let's go ahead and take my SIM card out. And my throat's still bugging me. So, <clears throat> I should do this in front of the VS8 Plus. Comes with a booklet. I've never seen a product red phone before, so I am pretty excited. Oh wow, French first, and then English. We are in Canada, it is bilingual. So Apple will contribute a portion of your iPhone purchase to the Global Fund to support HIV AIDS programs and help deliver an AIDS free generation. Learn more or donate at www.red.org. So check that site out if you're interested in supporting the fight against AIDS and HIV. So here are some booklets. In the French one, bonjour. I do speak French, I did grow up in Montreal. But my family moved to the East Coast when I was 15. You can probably hear my accent a little bit, or a lot. And there's the SIM card remover, SIM card tray. Oh, and the stickers. So let's take this out and take my SIM card out. And usually you'll see thumbnails on YouTube with people like this, doing this pose. Because most YouTubers people follow are very successful and they get to switch phones every couple weeks and sometimes even more often or more frequently. What I did notice at the, the mobile store is that the SIM card on this one is low near the bottom. So let's take that out. And it is also upside down. And it comes with the charging brick and the ear pods. Alright, so the moment of truth. Here comes my SIM card from my old phone. I'm taking it out and putting it into the new phone, upside down. It is a dual SIM phone, and uh, I can tell you that it's, this SIM card tray doesn't take two SIMs. It takes one SIM and then the phone itself can be programmed. You can put an eSIM into it. Well, you can, but your phone provider can. There it is. I'm very excited to try this phone out for a few days and then report back to you as soon as I'm done. There you have it, my newest iPhone. I'm very excited to try it out. 